away the sides in, so I chucked a bit of paint on the on the box just to protect it a bit. Box was holding up, good job. Four ferrets in here at the moment. A couple of younger ones that I'm giving a run to. Plan today is guys just to keep giving the dogs a run. There's three burrows, there's one here, there's one just on the other side of that mound, and there's one up a little bit further. Put a long net along here because normally they'll run from those back two across to this one and from this one across to that one. There's not a lot of rabbits here though. You get the odd one every now and again. But I was sitting at home not really doing a lot. This is just up the road from me, so I thought, oh, why not throw the ferrets in? Good day to get out, have a bit of a stroll, give the dogs a bit of a run. Now the weather's uh, cooling down a bit, we're doing a lot less spotlighting and a lot more ferreting. She's looking for me. Neck would have they run over to you like that, eh? You're a good girl. Good girl. Have a look in here. White one's out. No, nothing in here today, I wouldn't imagine. Four ferrets in there, not if they were running about, they'd push them out. Good girl. These burrows also get done a fair bit by the locals as well because they're so in the open and such easy access. They get hammered a bit by the locals as well. But the rabbits here, they don't tend to stay in the burrow. They, they sort of, they're a bit nomadic here. They move about a fair bit, like one day they'll be over here and next day they'll be here. It's probably because they get chased a lot. People come in here walking their dogs and, and the rabbits when they're out feeding they get chased and they'll head for the nearest burrow. See all my ferrets come when I call them. Well, most of them anyway. The deaf ones won't, but I don't have any deaf ferrets. It's a good way to, uh, to check whether your ferrets are deaf or not from when they're young. Just so that you know for your own uh, peace of mind, I mean, a deaf ferret will still work. But if you wonder why they're not coming when you call them, you can you can check them to see if they're deaf or not. What I normally do is um, 
every time I feed them, I make that noise, the same one I call them with. And every now and again when they're tired and they're laying down, you'll notice one and it'll stay in the box when you call. And it'll be a regular thing, all the other ones will rush out first because you'll notice that um, when you call them, they'll all run out, except for the deaf one. He'll wait for the others to run out and he's always last because he has to rely on sight and feel. Um, well, well he was, he's never first anyway, because he can't hear you. So the, that's one way you can pick it from when they're young. There's other tests you can do, but that's, uh, I normally pick it up from when they're young like that. Let's see in the box, he wants to go in the box. Still not finished working this one. Tell by her attitude. Nice hawk. Good girl. Good girl. See none of mine bite. Go, 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 go